Good afternoon, and thank you for tuning in to the Central YouTube channel. Got a very special guest here today. Been trying to get Noah for quite a while, but this is Noah Dingle from the Central Boys Basketball Team, one of the key contributors of the Central Boys Basketball Team, and uh, finally get an opportunity to talk to Noah. Noah, thank you for joining us on the YouTube channel today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Central River Hawks, 13 and 10 overall, 9 and 2. Noah, in particular, 10.7 points a game, seven rebounds a game, averaging nearly a double double. One of the big three when we talk about the big three for this River Hawk basketball team. And we're going to talk all about um, Central Boys basketball here. Last time we saw them in action, big win against the Logan Rangers, crosstown rival. You got in foul trouble early, and I thought that was going to be an issue right away. I think you picked up your second one maybe two minutes into the game. I remember saying on the broadcast, that is not good for the Riverhawks because Noah is such a big part of it. But man alive, did your other seniors step up and, and carry the load in that first half. What was it like, Noah, to have a front row seat to the Peyton Stripmotter and Henry Meyer show? I mean, that's always fun to watch when those guys can step up. I mean, I think Peyton went like six for seven on threes in the first half. I mean, that's just so fun to watch from the bench. Obviously, I got to do a better job not getting foul trouble right away. But I mean, to see those guys step up and play so big in the first half, that's huge for our team. Absolutely. And you actually came in in the second half when you could finally come back in, knock down a big three pointer. And that was a, I mentioned on the broadcast, that was a big basket because what that did was it forced their big guy to come on out and have to guard you out there. And it opened up the lane for uh, some of your teammates. That outside shot, is that something you've been working on? Is that a part of your game that you're looking to develop? I've watched you play since you were, I think, a kindergartner, not seen you shoot a lot of outside shots. So I, I like that part of your game. Is that something you've really worked on over the years? That's yeah, been a focus of mine, uh, especially over like the summer. I was trying to like be able to be a perimeter threat at least. So like when guys like he collapsed on, I think Peyton was driving the ball. He collapsed in the paint. I'm able to knock that shot down. So it forces him to come out and then that opens up driving lanes for our whole team. And that's something I've been focusing on, like all, like I said, all summer. And then even like the, the fall here and then into the season, I've still been working on that shot, trying to get better. And you're reaping the rewards of that work as that was a big shot. And like I said, open it up, as you said, open it up for some of your slashers to be able to get to the basket. So, yeah, we look at the box score and and Peyton and Henry went off. But there's a lot that goes into that, little things like you knocking down a three and opening up that lane that that make that happen. You, in particular, have really uh, elevated your offensive production as of late. I'm talking the last two or three weeks. It's been fun watching your effort on the offensive glass in particular. I, I bring that up over and over on the broadcast. What's your mindset when you're going and crashing for an offensive board? Are you looking to try a, to try to get a quick putback, or what does it take to get in there and get that offensive rebound? I mean, I just look as a at an offensive board as like another chance, like it's another opportunity to score. Where even if I'm not able to get the putback right away, you know, we get another chance on offense, and that's huge for our team. I mean, that that little stuff is what wins games, and I that's just so important. And coach has been stressing like get on the boards, get on the boards. So I just try to crash boards. If you get the rebound, you get the rebound, you get another chance. That's huge. Absolutely. I was going to mention, I, I was going to ask you if Coach Fergett had been mentioning that because we really see that's a strength of this team is the offensive rebounding, and you're certainly a big part of that. Currently on a four-game win streak, this Riverhawk boys team, what's been the key to the recent success? You know, for a while there in the middle of the season, it was win-loss, win-loss, kind of going back and forth. Now all of a sudden starting to string some wins together. What's been the key? I think we're starting to click more as like a unit, like we're starting to work better as a team, whether that's like giving up the ball, like Henry and Peyton, I think, combined for 60 points against Logan, but they also had like, I don't know, 14, 15 assists. Like that's just a huge part of like giving up, like we've been better at giving up the ball, finding the open open teammate, and, you know, it's leading to games winning. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely playing a more team-oriented game, and that's going to help uh, be successful. I've mentioned on the broadcast a couple times that Coach Fergus' teams always seem to be playing their best ball right about this time of year. You guys this year, no exception, as I think you've been playing uh, phenomenal, phenomenally here these last couple of weeks. I want to get your opinion, a senior per opinion, of some of these young guys on the team. So we've seen Gabe Service, a freshman, Joey Protaski, a sophomore, Ezra Weezy, a freshman, Anthony Jones, a freshman. What's it been like watching their growth and maturity? And do you feel like they have what it takes to carry on the torch and carry on the tradition of winning basketball here at Central High School? Uh, definitely. I mean, those guys have been so huge for us this year. I mean, Gabe and Joey stepped up into the starting role. I mean, that's been huge for us. They've been some of our best defenders uh, on the court. You know, they've had some tough matchups. They've been doing a great job. And then Anthony stepped up recently. He's getting more minutes earlier in the game. But then also in like practice, you know, they'll push us, they'll make us better and they're always competing. So I think they'll be just fine in the future. 
I know those freshman guys pretty well as a, I have a, a freshman son who plays or played with them for a long time. And I just need to tell you, Noah, that I've heard from multiple people uh, associated with that freshman group how great this senior class has been to the younger kids. And I just want to make sure you're aware of that and Henry and Peyton and everybody else who stepped up and really made them feel comfortable. And that's been, it's as you said, they've been big producers for this team. And uh, that doesn't just happen. In order to to feel comfortable and play your best ball, you need guys that are taking you in. And you guys have done a really good job of that. And so you should be aware of uh, the work that you've done. And, and that's a big part of their success. Your senior year is winding down. That's hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> What's been your best memory of, of basketball so far? It can be all the way back to the LCBA days, all the way up to right now. What's been your best memory? Oh boy, I'm not even sure. I mean, I have so many great memories like this year, last year. I think probably my all-time favorite would be uh, I probably have to go last year winning sectional uh, sectional finals. I mean, that was just so fun. That was awesome. It was a great experience. But I, I mean, I have so many great memories from basketball. I've made so many friends. You know, it's just been a great experience. That's awesome. What are your plans for next year? What are you thinking? What I mean, I know you're a phenomenal student in the classroom as well. Um, so your options are pretty wide open, I would guess. What are you thinking right now? Not exactly sure where I'm headed, but I'm probably going to do something in engineering for school wise anyway. Um, but other than that, I'm not, I know I'm pretty still pretty open. And you still got time. So don't worry about that. You make sure you look at all your options and see what's the best fit for you. Well, no, we'd be remiss not to mention the elephant in the room. And that's the big on Alaska game tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Central high school is a buzz with all of the anticipa anticipation of that game. How do you as a program and you as an individual try to make sure that you view that as just another game? We know the rivalry. We know the history between these two programs. But at the end of the day, it comes down to basketball. How do you make sure not to be too emotional heading into tomorrow night's game? I mean, we as like a program and like as a team, like we've talked a little bit, like it's just another basketball game. It's just another chance, you know. Unfortunately, we've already lost, like, even if we win tomorrow night, we've already lost conference. So we have nothing to lose going into tomorrow night's game. Just give it everything we have. I mean, they're a great team. You know, they're going to hit shots. There's going to be, they're going to go on runs. We're going to go on runs, but it's just going to be, a, it's just another basketball game at the end of the day. I like that attitude. And I'm sure Coach, Coach Fergett has made sure that you all are thinking that one and all, as he would say, uh, mm -hmm. doesn't matter who it's against, just one and all each time. What do you think are the keys for tomorrow night? If we look at how does Central come out of there with the W, what's going to have to happen? Uh, I think mainly is just playing at, playing at our pace, not like ramping up, trying to keep up with them, you know, playing playing our pace of basketball, you know, getting the ball inside, getting kick out, open threes, just little things like that, you know, rebounding the ball. That's another big one, not turning over the ball. Just like little things that will just give us little tiny advantages and end up hopefully putting us on top at the end. Some of those little things that you talked about before that don't necessarily show up in the box score, but end up making the difference, especially in a what we anticipate to be a tight game tomorrow night. Noah, mm -hmm. I wish you and the boys the best of luck. I know that you'll be ready to go. And Coach Fergus will have you guys ready to go. So really looking forward to it. We will be live on the YouTube channel for tomorrow night's game. And so if you can't make it over to Central High School, you can certainly join us on the broadcast. Should be a packed house and lots of excitement, so I'm looking forward to it. Of course, then we start the playoffs next week, and you guys get a home game for that, and that's against Sparta next Tuesday, and we will also have that covered live on the YouTube channel. We're going to follow this boys' team as far as they go, so if they make it to Fox Valley Lutheran, we'll go to Fox Valley Lutheran. Mosini the next night, maybe. We're ready to travel. We'll go as far as this baby takes us. So, Noah, best of luck. Uh, moving forward tomorrow night and then of course in the playoffs and thank you again for taking the time to join us on the YouTube channel yeah thank you very much and to all our viewers tomorrow night our next broadcast will be live we'll have the VR game at about 5 30 and live play-by-play -play starting at about 6 45 we hope you all tune in have a great day